There are so many mixed messages about bike lanes and transiting through the bike lane in order to turn. Should you check the blind spot or not when, you, when you're turning and just transiting through the bike lane, not traveling through it, but transiting through it. Here's a question that we received by one of our viewers. She said, someone I know failed their PDA in Mirabuka and one of the reasons was failing to check the blind spot when there was a bike lane. He did another exam and corrected his error from his previous, checked his blind spot this time, still failed. However, this time, one of the reasons was apparently because it was unnecessary to look at the bike lane where there's no oncoming bike. So the answer to that, there's no clear rule other than using common sense, you know. It will depend on, you know, whether your speed fluctuates or not prior to getting to your turn. If your speed fluctuates, for example, if you're slowing down, if, if, there's, if there's many cars coming up to an intersection and for any reason, if the traffic is significantly slower, you may need to check the blind spot, especially if you saw a cyclist in the cyclist lane before you got to that particular turn. On the other hand, if you're doing 60 or 50 kilometers an hour and slowing down gradually to about 20 kilometers an hour to take the left turn, you shouldn't check the blind spot. So the rear view mirror is sufficient. So, you know, if you checked your rear view mirror a few times, getting to that particular turn, you shouldn't have a problem intercepting any cyclist if there was one there. If you were traveling from that direction, and uh, if you were traveling slowly due to the road work, traffic that's slow for any reason before you got to this particular point, it's, it's a good idea to check the blind spot before you turn there. But look, if, you, if you're coming, you know, getting there at about 60 kilometers, and if this is a cyclist lane, you would surely see a cyclist. You know, you, you would have overtaken them somewhere. If you overtook a cyclist along the way, it's best to check the blind spot if your speed fluctuates. If your speed is consistent, and if you can keep an eye on cyclists that you overtook, there's no problems. You can just get there, gradually slow down to about 20 kilometers an hour and make your turn. A lot of times where there are roadworks and, and the traffic is extremely slow, you're moving, you know, five, 10 kilometers an hour, and then you get to the point where you need to turn left, it is a good idea to check the blind spot as well, because you don't know if the cyclist is caught up. The difference in speed will determine whether you should check your blind spot or not. Obviously, your car can travel a lot faster than, than, than the bicycle, and for that reason, the difference will play a major role. We need to use common sense. If you overtook a cyclist seconds before you got to your turning point, it is definitely a good idea to check the blind spot, but always consider the difference in speed. Cyclists can travel up to a certain you know, speed and cars are a lot faster. So if you fail for not checking blind spot and if you got to the turning point relatively quickly, you should complain. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.